when I started my PhD and I was looking at the energy it takes to kill annual ryegrass seed, um, I, I recognised that to go from 90% to 99% was going to take a huge amount of energy and therefore a huge amount of power when you put it on a combine harvester. And in the early days, I, I really argued that, you know, what's the point of going after those last few weeds? And I think over time, um, and I guess um, having a few discussions with Mike Walsh over the years, I've come to realise that it's, um, although 90% is a lot of the weeds, killing those last nine or 10% is actually really important when you consider that the combine harvester can spread these things for hundreds of metres. Um, and it's not necessarily the total number of seeds that you're letting through with those last survivors, but it's actually the fact that you're spreading them so far. And when we talk about a herbicide resistant weeds um, and moving them through a field, those, set, those individual seeds could be the ones that, that um, in the future cause you a lot of grief in the farming system. So that's why these high kill screens are used to, to kill all those, all the seeds. And then if it's not possible or not economical, uh, it's too green or it's too tough, then the next screen would be to move to a, a bean screen. Um, and the next one after that would be high capacity. And then after that would be our bypass screen. So we, we really want to move towards using bean screens and these ones as much as, as possible. Um, and a lot of talk today has been about you know conditions where you might bypass the machine, but we're working really hard to make it so that even, even in canola where you don't think you're getting much um, or many weeds in the front, um, we'd like to be still killing what does come in the front because what does come in the front is going to get spread. And when you think about a Roundup Ready uh, canola system, potentially those weeds have had multiple applications of glyphosate and if they're resistant to glyphosate, the combine is certainly going to spread them a long way. And um, if they don't come into the front of the machine and they stay in their patch, that's much easier to manage than it if, if they're spread 500 metres up the field.